guys welcome back to epicidin tips channel today i want to talk about body shaming and what it has caused a lot of people <laughs> especially me i'm an example of somebody that is being body shamed nearly every time i meet up with an acquaintance i want to talk to you about body shaming and how you might have destroyed someone's life or how you might have sent someone into depression without knowing I don't know where this notion or this thoughts or this belief of you not being beautiful or you not being good enough or you not having the best figure and if you do not have a figure eight that is if you're not maybe slim or you don't have a figure eight body shaming is classified as one of the reasons why so many people go into depression especially in this 20 first century you might have body shamed somebody into depression without knowing you might have body shamed somebody into suicidal tendencies without knowing this amount has a lot of influence in people's life and barely do we know that i want to talk to you and i want to ask you a question be it as a brother as a sister as a father as a mother and aunt and uncle I just want to ask you that have you ever told somebody that you have fat you are too thin master try add kilo ha, man you don't fat too. have you ever said that yes at times you say it in a jovial way in jokes but you don't know if that person really takes it at heart or not especially when you body shame the person before that same person you don't stay for long you never see me yet when you set your eyes on me the first thing that comes is ah epicy hmm. my sister calm down no you go explode small time they never see your husband for bed now you they go see him or ha epicy na fat this my mommy i be calm down master you go whoa whoa you know my story. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I'm going through. Yet, you you just have the guts and the, you think because we are friends, we are we have some kind of relation, it gives you the right to body shame me. I say this even to those that are thin. You see a friend that is thin or is of the smaller size and you're like, ha, my sister, try a kilo before wind pass so it blow you off. Hmm. That one, my sister, that clothes don't fit you because you don't get Botox. If you find, if you get Botox or you get breast, why are you to body shame me? Why are you to body shame that person? I want to tell you, every individual you see out there, be it of the higher size or the lower size, or even this figure eight that you see, they have a story to tell. They have a story to tell. You don't know their story. You know only what they want you to know. You don't know their story. You know what they protrude outside. You know only what they send outside for people to see. These some people have a figure eight. You don't know what they've been through to have that figure eight. These some people that you see and you, that is, you feel like, oh my God, look at this flat tummy. You don't know what to do. To have that flat tummy so many of us have led a lot of people into low self-esteem body shaming leads people into suicide body shaming leads people into depression body shaming leads people to even put on more weight because we know situations where people have been insulted and finally accepted that they are ugly or they accepted themselves that they are fat and start eating carelessly. You don't know where you sent one person or the other into with just body shaming. I want to ask you, if you have a sibling, you have a son, you have a daughter, and that person goes to school, and the person is being bullied in school by a classmate, and comes back home and is seriously crying, mommy, daddy, brother sister aunt uncle i have this classmate of mine that beats me 
I have this classmate of mine that takes away my lunch. I have this classmate that takes away my pen whenever I want to write. He does not love me alone. He insults me. And you see your little one crying before you. You want to rush to the administration, especially if it's something that happens continuously. You run to the administration and ask for this incident of bully to stop. You want to talk to the parents to that child, to stop bullying your own child, to stop bullying your brother, to stop bullying your sister, just because they think they are bigger than them. Whereas you are bullying at somebody by body shaming the person. It has gone even to the extent where husbands do insult their wives today because the thing they are not having the right shape. You know what that woman has been through. She has given birth to kids. She has put her life on the table before life and death to make you a dad, to make you a complete man. Yet today you stand and you insult that woman. You tell her she's going fat. You tell her she's developed tummy. You tell her she's, that is, you send her into depression because if there's one thing that keeps a woman, most especially, going, is when the husband appreciates and loves her for who she is. But you are one of those people that have insulted her so much. Yet she went through all what she went through because of you. She gave birth to beautiful kids and make you called a daddy, yet you insult her and you body shame her. You lead her into more depression, low self-esteem, low self-importance, low self-love. I want to talk to you, every individual out there that has been body shamed, maybe because you are of the higher size or you are the lower size. You are beautiful. You are just beautiful the way you are. I may recommend you to do one or two exercises if you're of the highest size. And I must recommend you to look for a, a diet to try putting on some weight if you're on the other side. But if you try and try and nothing works despite your efforts, do not allow anybody to body shape you. Do not allow anybody to send you into depression. Do not work for a figure eight if you don't see the need to. You are doing it for yourself and not to impress anybody. You are doing it because you love yourself. If you're feeding and eating just because you want to put in some flesh, do it for yourself and not for another person. Do it because you know you need it and not for another person. Do it for yourself because you love yourself. And for you body shaming those people out there, for you that think that this person has to lose some weight or for you that think that this person has to gain some weight, instead of body shaming them and insulting them, do well to advise them, do well to stand by them, do well to follow them in that journey. Ask them what is wrong, what have you done? Let's see how we can work things out to come out with best results. Do your part, support them in the journey. If you want them to lose weight, support them in the journey of weight loss. If you want them to gain weight, support them in the journey of weight gain. Do not body shame people out there because so many people go into depression and actually develop suicidal tendency just because of the words you out, you bring out from your mouth, my dear brother or sister. I'm going to stop here because I believe that you have listened and so many have listened. And I must tell you, we all are beautiful. What matters is the inner beauty. You are beautiful. Do not let yourself to be depressed or sent into suicidal tendency. I love you all. Guys, I'm going to stop here. Yes, if you're here, you've then subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting for? Do well to like, subscribe, share, leave a constructive comment on the comment section, and I'll see you in my next video. As of now, I'm out. I love you.